here with Fig Boot on Pens, back again with another fountain pen review. Today I have for you a brand new pen from Narwhal, which was released at the recent DC Pen Show, and that pen would be the Original Plus. What I'm going to do today is talk a bit about some recent changes for Narwhal, go over the parts and features of the Original Plus. Um, I'll talk about what I care for and what I don't care for about this new design. I'll show some measurements, size comparisons, and provide a writing sample. Thanks go out to the good folks at Narwhal for providing this pen for review. Now, a few weeks ago, in the review of the Narwhal Grand Rhapsody, I discussed the fairly recent news regarding Narwhal and Twisby. Uh, there's been a lot said about that situation, uh, but just prior to the DEC show, uh, Narwhal was in the pen news again. Uh, this time it was because of a name change. Uh, they announced that they are entering a transitional period where they are changing their names from Narwhal to Narwhal. Uh, yes, you heard that correct, but let me explain. Uh, this was the original company name and logo, and this is the new company logo, a stylized interpretation of a narwhal, and this is the new name. Uh, for me, this is a little tough to read, so let me spell it out. It is N-A-H-V-A-L-U-R, which is Icelandic for narwhal. And while the company is changing the spelling of their name, they've chosen to keep the pronunciation of narwhal. The company has said the reason for the change is that Narwhal was not unique enough to be trademarked for Narwhal pens, and the rebranding will allow for some search engine optimization, allowing folks to more easily find the company. I guess if you search for Narwhal, you'll find a lot of uh, information relating to the whale and not the pen company. Now, I'm a bit uncertain how this change will work out for the company uh, because they have changed their name to something that is very difficult to spell and pronounced differently than it's spelled. So I'm not sure how well the uh, customers will be able to search for the new name, especially if they don't know how to spell it. Uh, anyway, I hope the change works out well for the company and that it has the desired for result for them in their effort to be a bit more unique on the internet. Okay, besides the name change, at the DC show they also announced a brand new pen, the Original Plus. Uh, the Narwhal Original series debuted back in 2019, and now they're releasing a new iteration of the affordable model. There are four different versions of the Original Plus, each of which are named after fish. Most of Narwhal's pens have sea creature themed names. There is the Altrafons Green, the Melarca Purple, the Gold Oceolatus, and the Azurus Blue. Uh, while I can appreciate the company sticking to a theme, the names they chose are a bit out there and really don't necessarily roll off the tongue, at least my tongue. The pen arrives in this box. Now they will be transitioning to new boxes with their new name, so during the transitional period, your box might vary. And the model I have right here is the Azurus Blue. Uh, this is the Original Plus, and the differentiating feature of this pen is that it is a vacuum filler. Uh, the pen is made from a mostly transparent acrylic with wisps of translucent color. The patterning of the wisps really remind me like a couple of uh, drops of ink being dropped in a glass of water. Uh, the coloring is very light, so it comes across as a very subtle accent rather than a bold statement. Um, other than the original Plus being a vacuum filler, there are only a couple of minor changes between this model and the original demonstrator. I'll show both of them to you during the size comparisons, but uh, the band on the original Plus is a bit wider, and then the uh, band here at the back of the barrel is slightly larger as well. Uh, let's start by taking a look at the top of the cap. It is slightly rounded and inlaid with a metal disc. Then we have the clip. Uh, it is a bit on the stiff side for me. I experienced it working a little bit better with thinner materials as opposed to thicker ones. The cap angles up just slightly before straightening out about half an inch before the end. Um, I do like how with this translucent cap you can get a good look at the nib. Uh, the cap has dual thread entry points and I appreciate how with one of the entry points the nib is aligned with the clip facing up and with the other it is facing down. Whether it's facing up or down really doesn't bother me that much. It's just one of my pen pet peeves when the nib is kind of, you know, cockeyed inside of a translucent cap. 
Now, if the cap is opaque, then who cares what the orientation is? You can't see it. But when you can see it with a translucent or transparent material, then I feel the orientation matters a bit. The band is stamped with the old narwhal spelling and will be transitioned out over time. Then there is a small step down to the barrel. The barrel angles down very slightly, only about half a millimeter from beginning to end, until the silver colored band signifying the beginning of the vacuum piston knob. And then the end of the knob is rounded, a bit more rounded than the top of the cap. The cap twists off in one and three quarter rotations, and underneath we have an in-house number six stainless steel nib. Uh, it's stamped with the Narwhal logo, which again will eventually be replaced with the new one. The nib is available in fine, medium, broad, as well as a stub. And here's a look at the plastic feed. The section begins with a slight flare and angles up just a bit into a small step up to the threads and another step up to the remainder of the barrel. The cap does post, and while it posts securely, it doesn't post very deeply. It actually posts on the vacuum piston knob. While that doesn't cause any issues for this model, with the original model being a piston filler, posting on the piston knob was problematic because it was easy to engage the piston knob when posting or unposting the pen. Uh, that's not a problem here, but I will say that while the cap is fairly light and I don't feel it back weights the pen or throws off the balance, um, I do find the shallow posting causes the cap to kind of add an inordinate amount of length to the pen, making it a bit unwieldy. So this one I particularly like to use unposted. Uh, in regard to the vacuum filling mechanism, I do like that this knob feels solid. I've experienced other vacuum fillers where this piece and the mechanism feel a little flimsy. Those gave me the feeling like if I wasn't careful in how I pulled it back and pressed it down that I could potentially break something in the mechanism. Uh, I don't get that feeling with this one here. Um, I don't have it inked up right now because I wanted you to get a better look at the innards of this pen, but during the writing sample, I'll show you how to ink this up with what I feel is a pretty cool limited edition ink. The Narwhal Original Plus is available through a wide number of retailers, as well as directly from Narwhal themselves. I'll put a link to where you can find it on their site. It retails for a reasonable $55, which I feel is a good value for what you receive with this pen. Uh, it has some sharp looks. Um, I like the wispiness of the accent color. Uh, the vacuum filling mechanism works really well, and the in-house nib performs nicely as well. Okay, now it is time for some measurements size comparisons, and a writing sample. Here we go with some size comparisons for the Narwhal Original Plus. Um, here it is with the original demonstrator. Uh, and as I said, the main difference is you can see that the band is slightly larger. And then this band here at the end is slightly larger as well. But the dimensions uh, are basically the same for these pens. In regard to a couple of other Nawal pens, this is what it looks like with the Nautilus. And then here it is with another Narwhal, and this is called the Key West. And it has some nice sparkly material to it. There's two di different versions. There's this blue version, and then there's like a yellowish gold version as well. And then in regard to some non-Narwhal pens, here it is with a Pilot Vanishing Point. Uh, and then here it is with a Visconti Opera Metal Speedboat. And then finally, here it is with a Sailor Pro Gear, and this is the Blue Cobra, which is an exclusive from Gold Spot. Uh, I believe they still have some of these available, so you might want to check that out. I did a review of it a while back, but it's a really nice pen. I enjoy the Sailor Pro Gear model. In regard to some uncapped comparisons, here it is with the Visconti. And here it is with the Sailor Pro Gear. And here it is with the Narwhal Nautilus. Uh, 
I had mentioned we're going to use an interesting ink for this, uh, and it is something from Pannonia, and this is a limited edition ink, Cheerio Water Bus, which is available exclusively through Ink Dependence. I'll put a link in the notes below where you can check this out. Uh, Mike from Ink Dependence has a few more bottles of this left, and then uh, wasn't sure if they were going to make any more, but if you are a fan of this color, then I would recommend picking it up from his site. Um, but let's go ahead and ink up this pen. So what's going to happen is we are going to pull this vacuum filler out. This is going to come back and you can see that there is a little bit of a difference in the material here. And what happens is it creates a vacuum and once it pops over to that area here, the seal breaks and then ink is sucked up in here. So let's see if I can kind of get this sideways so you can see it. So we'll press down. I'm just doing it a little slow and then it pulls up. Uh, and then I, I won't talk about it now, but there's different ways to get uh, kind of fuller fills, but that's not bad uh, as far as a, a, a like a half fill on a first try. Let's just do one more try and see how that changes. So, so you see the second time got up to about three quarters of a fill, which is good. Okay, here we have the narwhal, and we are spelling that N-A-H-V-A-L-U-R. And this is the original plus. And this is a fine stainless steel nib. And the ink, as you saw, is Pannonia. Cheerio Water Bus. Uh, that's a rather unique name. Uh, Pannonia is made in Hungary and Cheerio Water Bus is a Hungarian saying, kind of like saying like after a while crocodile. It's just a, a fun name for an ink. This is what the ink looks like. It is uh, a nice kind of greenish blue. Um, I've really been into that color lately. Um, it looks somewhat similar to the Stilo and Stile Roman Bronze Oxidation. I'd say it kind of has a little bit more green than blue. And the same goes from Leonardo Smeralda. So all of those are kind of in the same family. And uh, that's just been a, an ink color, like I said, I've been into lately. So I really enjoy that Cheerio Water Bus. And here we go with the rest of the writing sample. Um, I do find this fine nib from Narwhal to be nice. Um, I, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of fine nibs, and I find this one to be um, fairly smooth, smooth enough. You're not going to get a lot of line variation out of that. Um, the ink flow on here seems decent in regard to uh, reverse writing. The ink flow is a little more limited, but it does write a uh, extra, extra fine line. And then in regard to some fast writing. There's no issue with the feed keeping up. So there we have the Narwhal Original Plus. I think the $55 price point on this pen is great um, for getting a, a nice vacuum filler and a solidly made pen with a nib that writes very nicely. Uh, then it's hard to go wrong with that price point. Okay, until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.